Are you stuck in your life? There are probably many people who consider themselves stuck in their lives right now. Are you one of them? Do you know what the real meaning and purpose of your life is? Have you set goals and failed to achieve them? Or maybe you achieved your goals, but felt that there was still something lacking in your life. If you do feel stuck, then don't worry because you are not alone. It is a common feeling that a lot of people experience. Fortunately, you had the foresight to grab a copy of this training to help you move away from stuck to clarity, purpose, and fulfillment. The Problem with Goals Very few people set goals, so if you do this, you need to congratulate yourself because you are certainly in the top 5%. A lot of people will set goals without fully understanding why they have set them. If you do this, then it is unlikely that you are going to achieve your goals because you do not have a driving force pushing you to overcome the obstacles that you will inevitably face so that you can achieve them. Human beings do everything for a reason. What is the difference between a person that goes all out to achieve their dreams and someone that tries their best? Well, the first person is completely driven. They are inspired and motivated to achieve their dreams no matter what. The second person is nowhere near as committed as this. So what does all of this mean? What it means is that when you set your goals, you need to have a strong reason as to why you want to achieve them. It has to be a strong reason because weaker reasons won't cut it. Here's an example. A woman decides that she wants to set a goal to lose 20 pounds in three months. She communicates this with her friends and family, and they ask her why she wants to do this. She replies, I want to fit into that summer dress I bought a few years ago. This is a weak reason for her goal. How important is fitting into that summer dress really for her? It's probably not that important, right? Okay, she looked good in the dress and it cost her money, but is this reason really going to motivate her to eat the right things and participate in an exercise routine every day? Contrast this to a reason like, I want to lose 20 pounds so I can feel super sexy and turn heads wherever I go. Would that inspire and motivate you more than just fitting into an old dress? Of course it would. Human behavior is driven by emotion. We have thoughts in our heads and these make us feel a certain way. Some of these thoughts will stir strong emotions within us and make us take certain actions. A single man sees a beautiful girl at a party. He is captivated by her beauty and wants to get to know her. The thoughts in his head stir up different emotions. On the positive side, he can see himself walking around with this gorgeous girl on his arm. He would have so much love for her and literally do anything for her. The negative side of this is that he has seen several guys approach her and be rejected. Rejection is not something that he really wants to deal with. So, what does he do? He plucks up the courage and goes over to her. He comments on how nice her hair looks and that she shouldn't be alone. While he is doing this, his body is preparing itself for the feeling of rejection, but he pushes through this. The girl likes him, and they spend the evening together. Why did the man choose the positive emotion over the negative? He did this because the feelings were stronger to him. Stronger emotions will always trump weaker ones when it comes to our behavior. Think about the woman that wanted to lose 20 pounds. It is her birthday and someone brings a delicious birthday cake to her house. She is salivating over this cake, but knows that she shouldn't eat even the smallest portion of it. After all, she wants to fit in that summer dress again. She rationalizes all this in her head and then thinks, who cares about the dress? It's my birthday. And of course, she will eat some of the cake and put her weight loss progress back considerably. If she wanted to lose the weight to be sexy and turn heads, then do you think she would respond in a different way? We think that is more likely that she will reject the offer of the cake if that is her reason for losing weight. The emotion is very strong in this reason, and it will probably win the day. You need a strong why. We have all done things where we had to push through the pain barrier or overcome very big obstacles to achieve something. The thing that gave us the strength and tenacity to do this was the reason why we were doing it. It would certainly not have been easy for the man to approach the pretty woman at the party. Having seen a number of guys fail miserably, his mind would be telling him that he would be rejected as well, and that is a whole bunch of pain. But he ignored his mind and the tension in his body and went for it anyway. He had a very strong why. In our example, the man succeeded and spent the evening with the woman. It could have gone wrong for him as well, of course. But the main thing to note here is that he took action because his why was so strong. This training is all about the power of finding your why and how to use this to get what you really want from life. If you set any goals and you don't really know why you want to achieve them, then you are in for a rough ride. Maybe you are setting these goals because you have been influenced by others. Your friend is the same age and she is training to run a marathon. 
So why shouldn't you do the same thing? If she can do it, then you can do it. But your friend has a very strong why for running the marathon. You are just doing it because she is, and you are not very likely to succeed. Or perhaps you think that it is just the right thing to do. You have learned over the years that it is important to save money and not waste it on frivolous things. But you yearn for that new car and it is very tough for you to overcome this urge. It is a strong why and doing the right thing is very unlikely to stop you from buying the car. In the next video, we will take a deeper look into the importance of your why. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.